got kind of rained on the other, not rained on, but they turned the lights off on us because we were here late. So uh, we're going to pick it up and uh, actually we're going to transition to a different seg segment. And uh, who do we have here, Ben? Well, this is Matt Moldover. I'm Ben Lurie. Um, we sort of designed this uh, guitar together. Matt's a software guru in terms of uh, using Ableton Live and Guitar Rig. So he can give a, a really nice demo on it. Cool. All right, so uh, you're the hardware side and he's more of the software side. You're the guitar guitar side and you, you got a lot of the technical. I'm the controller, yeah, controllerist side. So guitar and controller together at last. You can this. Uh, whoa. Um, we're going to get a little a quick demo from uh, Moldover, just Moldover. <laughs> and uh, we're going to see what, what we could do here. OK, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how the pitch buttons work and the, and the joystick. Uh, okay, let's check out the accelerometer. So that's uh Filters and other other cool stuff all over the place. The first question that, that I have for you is I noticed that you were using different controllers with one hand and so that would make the placement of all the knobs and so there's obviously a lot of thought into which way the, 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 the sliders are going and the... Yeah, well, I've been playing a prototype, you know, where well, multiple prototypes for about a year or two years um, um, and that's given me a lot of time to work on different arrangements, figure out what kinds of sensors work with which kinds of effects and that's kind of the art form that I've been studying for six or eight years at this point. So so the unique look of where the layout is and where all the buttons are, it's not just haphazard. There's been a lot of thought put into that. Yeah, when you see things like the arc of these buttons over this joystick and like the V of this touch strip and this fader repeated over here, those are both just super ergonomic ways like, you know, that guitar players are used to playing an instrument. That makes it so, you know, just intuitive to, to manipulate these effects. Great, yeah, because I, I, I think it's so important that people don't just, don't just think, oh, I just thought it, this is a cool layout and this is the way I made it. And so when other people come to you, they'll just say, well, I want to put this here, I want to put that there, I want to, you know. There, there was a lot of thought into the reasons on why you put certain controllers in certain places. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's a lot of, a lot of research and development went into this. So, thank you for noticing. And you really notice it when you play it. I mean, that's the way that, that makes it real. But, uh, you know, the thing about putting all the buttons in the right places, the joystick in the right places. You know, uh, it might be hard for someone to learn in the beginning, but to know that you guys put so much thought into putting, putting it where it is, and knowing that the playability is there, once they learn it, they can get to like the next level with being able to control their sounds, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, in the year that I've been playing it, I've come like a long, long way, and I've only had this version of it, the newest, you know, final version for uh, less than a week, and you know, maybe a, you know, six hours playing it total at a trade show. But you know, already I'm coming up with all kinds of new ideas, and you know, it's very much made for like a guitar player's hands. So you know. Um, if you know a thing or two about guitars, believe me, it's easier to tap on buttons than to tap on frets. So it translates really well. Yeah, now, um, right now you have, you demonstrated a lot of guitar effects being controlled by this, but this could be totally separate, controlling something separate from the guitar, right? Yeah, that's something I haven't gotten into because I, I have my own custom, like, tabletop controller where I, you know, manipulate loops and, and other tracks and stuff. 
Um, but for people that want, you know, um, control over over looping or, or playback of existing tracks, you know, I know a lot of people are like, oh, I wish I just had a couple things on the guitar, so I don't have to like run across stage or whatever to my computer. Like this is a a really good solution. Um, um, yeah, you could you could you know it's MIDI. That's the beauty of it. You can make it do literally anything. Yeah, so it's it's really flexible because you do have a quarter inch out, so you can play it as a as a traditional guitar, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a. It, yeah, if uh, if all you have is, is this guitar and amplifier, you're still like totally, totally fine, and it's a fine, fine instrument too. I've never had a guitar this well made and um, and this playable, so that's that's a beautiful thing. I mean, and that's why I didn't. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, does it do the MIDI pickup tracking, no tracking thing? And I've done that um, for a long time, and I'm, I'm it's a difficult. That's a very difficult technology to play, and it's harder for guitar players. They kind of have to adapt. Um, in a lot of ways to make that work, I feel so. So there's nothing fancy. It's a controller and a guitar, and what's fancy is the, the, the careful marriage of the two, you know, in a way that, that nobody's really done before, I think. Great. So is this product strictly going to be a custom build per order? Uh, yeah, well, we're planning to do like um, um, like a, a run of Robocasters, essentially, like a short run, uh, just as I did with my tabletop controller, the Mojo. Um, you know, like I have a lot of fans I know who will want this guitar. Um, but what's new for me is like I've just been doing controllers and much more electronic stuff for a while, and um, it'll be interesting to see how guitar players react um, to an instrument like this. Uh, its its popularity with that crowd will very much influence you know how many we make and and, and stuff Great. like that. So when is the uh, availability going to be on this, and then what do you expect pricing to be around? Well, Ben's selling them today, twenty twenty seven ninety nine, I believe. Is that right? Yeah. So that's that's the price today here now, and um, yeah, you can have one as soon as he can make them. So <laughs> hit Ben up at Visionary Instruments uh, for a Robocaster. Yeah, you want to just kind of go over. Sure. Well, um, th this is the first model that we've done. Uh, I have plans for some other classic guitar designs, like a Telecaster or a Jaguar, and a lot of bass players are looking for this as well. It gives you that kind of womp tone and a lot of interesting effects you can do with bass. Um, so I got a bass model on the way as well. It'll take a couple months, but we'll have it together. Sure. So what kind of um, finishes, what kind of uh, colors are you planning to offer as far as for that for the twenty-seven ninety-nine? Oh, pretty much any color. Uh, any finish that you like, that's no problem at all. Um, I'm a real big fan of the mats, and we use a powder coat over the metal. Um, and both those come in almost every style, including metal flake and you know some real exotics. And as um, far as the body style, the body shape, you're gonna, it's gonna stay with this one here. Uh, for this particular model, the moldover model, the, yes. which we call the Robocaster, um, will be this body shape. Okay. This one's kind of a cyborg guitar, so it's a half Strat and then half <laughs> robot. <laughs> Um, some of the models that I have planned for the future will be sort of more seamlessly integrated, so it won't be like one side and the other, but you'll have like different controls in, in unique places where it just seems to be convenient. Very cool. So the main thing is to get in touch with Ben at Visionary Instruments. Is it VisionaryInstruments.com? It is. VisionaryInstruments.com. And uh, get your hands on this awesome controller, guitar, everything built into one. And uh, that's it for this episode. See us next time. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Dan.